What's good, man? My name is Flumlo Raps, and today we're back in the TD series. Now, in this episode, some guy is gonna come out. He's got something to say about our boy TD. And all I'm gonna tell you right now is it did not go down the way the guy says it went down. We're gonna find out exactly how it did go down in the next episode, but today you're gonna hear the guy's side of the story. Also, once we get into the gameplay, stay tuned for the entire video because late in the game, TD makes a couple amazing plays. Very, very exciting. He's looking like that beast that we all know TD is. Now, like go for the day, 1,500 likes. If we hit the 1,500 likes, we will. Get another TD episode tomorrow. Without further ado, enjoy your episode. Bye my tongue order my steps let me take the right ones long as i got air pumping all in my lungs i'll achieve my goals or i'll never be done i'm the type to get it moving when it need to be done i'ma finish my run i ain't stopping at the one i just want to live life i'm just trying to be free they say flim be cool i just want to be me i just want to be me they say flim be cool i just want to be me so I'm at the bar, completely minding my own business, and, and all of a sudden, uh, Terrence Davis and Tyron Matthew, the honey badger, they barge in like they own the place. It was at that moment when Terrence Davis, for no reason at all, elbows me in the face. It gave me a black eye, you know, it, it damaged it. Okay, um, ha had you had any drinks that night? Well, well, I had a few, but I wasn't drunk. I've been known to throw them back, you know what I mean? I I've got a pretty high tolerance, okay? Um, also, the club was pretty dark. So you mix a dark club with alcohol and mistakes can happen. So are you 100% sure it happened the way that you say it happened? Oh, I'm 100% sure. And my lawyers are 100% sure. It's assault. Okay, and uh, just to be, just for clarity, this happened a couple of months ago, correct? Yeah, Bob, it happened a couple months ago and my life has been on a downward spiral ever since. After the damage to my eye, I missed two weeks of work and then I ended up getting laid off. Says here you're suing for $1.5 million. Pretty sure your wage wasn't that much. You can speak with my lawyers about that. Mr. Davis, any comments on the recent assault charges that you're receiving? <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been advised by my legal team not to talk about that, but I'm told there's a tape. So, I guess we'll see the tape. And I should clear most of this up. It's really a shame. Like, people want professional athletes to not act like we're so Hollywood or we're above everyone. You know, they want you to act like a regular guy. But when you try to do regular shit, you can bleep that out. Go out to a bar with my teammate. Some friends of ours that are in the music industry asked us to come through. We came through. Show support. First time you do, some guy thirsty for attention and money immediately tries to take advantage of the situation. Anyway, just a note to all my fans out there. I did not assault this guy, and hopefully this will all be cleared up soon. All right, man, today we're taking on the San Francisco 49ers, um, and I just wanted to address real quick. Some people ask me why I never spend my XP. I spend it, bro, but yeah, I always spend it in the offseason. Um, it, it just works better with the story to upgrade TD once per year instead of upgrading him game to game. I know we upgraded game to game in college, but that was college. Let's do it a little different in the league. There you have it, bro. Last game, nine tackles, one pick, balled out. Now we ready to take on these Niners? Let go. All right, man. TD and Honey Badger taking some heat as of late, but still out here on the field getting it in, man. Let's go. So in the meantime, we're going to keep balling out, man. Let's go. Screen. <laughs> we treating the 49ers really like they're supposed to be treated. Sorry, Niners fan. Mm. All right, we're going to try to sneak in the blitz right here. Boom. Got it. Oh, shit. He broke the tackle, though. Come on, TD. Focus up, bro. Whew, let's go. He's short. Hell yeah. All right, bro. So lately, we've been doing this a lot, bro. Jumping out to a quick lead. I love it because it really kind of forces their hand on the plays that they call.
Ah. Oh. Hand it off. Give me that. Oh. Honey Beasy. Good coverage. And see, we trying to make a Super Bowl push, man. We got all this craziness going out. And if we lose me and Honey Badger, it's a wrap. Three cats to my right. Good coverage, though. <laughs> All right, let's check out the overhead replay right here. This should have been a pick, bro. If that guy right there in the slot goes deep, we got him. All right, I got three people deep. These two on this side. If he throws it deep, they can make that play, okay? So I'm assuming he's going to run something kind of cross. So we wait on it. Then we circle back. This time, we circle too wide. As you can see, I should circle. It shouldn't be that big. It circles way too big. But we're still able to draw the ball out. We're able to draw the ball out and we're able to make him throw it. So that's the two, you know, most important things right there. Oh, let's see what we got. Come on, come on. Ah, oh wait, he made the play. Yeah, good shit, Pat P. You get it. Y'all don't want this shit, man. We do, though. We're going to go ahead and take it from you. Y'all fucking around. Dang. All right, first and ten. Mm. Oh, fuck. So he already got this legal case looming, and then Honey Badger gets injured on that play, and he's out, man. Come here. Come here. All right, man, 17-3. You saw right there at the end of the half, once we lost Honey Badger, they just really went straight down the field after that. Bitch, come here. Ooh, got him with a juke. Yo, he's been avoiding that big hit from me all game. Damn. <laughs> Never gets the screen off. Oh, let's go. Oh, really? All right, great field position equals points on the board, baby. 24 to 3. Dang. Good throw. Good route in throw. I'll give it to him. I'll give it to him. And 12. Screen. Get your bitch ass here. What? Get off me. Dog, they swarm me right now. To me. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, TD. Bah! Let's go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> so we lurk in the middle. They're showing my boy GA. Did he tip that up? No, Pat P tipped this up for me. All right, man, so checking out where TD is 
And look where Pat P in the ball is. We over here in our zone, covering. But the second the ball goes up, we swarm. We're sprinting. Take a look at the radius. Now, we only got two guys here. So, a tip backwards or forward. We got a shot at it. He tips it forward. Look at TD. Lock on the ball instantly. Give me that. <laughs> Turns around. Y'all already know what time it is. Splits the defense. Yeah, Cap is actually pretty damn fast. Unable to catch me right here, though. We sprint to the end zone. That's money. That's what I'm talking about, bruh. Like, right there at the end of the game. I ain't really know if we was going to get one. Man, that's a dope-ass pick six, man. Get to me. Ooh. Check out the bait right here. So, again, this has consistently started to work for me. Acting like I'm going to check one route and then the second... I know he's about to throw it, completely jumping off of it. This time, I don't really know what he's going to throw, but I know he ain't going to throw that route that I'm checking. So I fall back. He throws that in route. We're able to pick it off. Man, if I could have got this block right here. Bro, so we played the entire game. And in the last quarter, we come away with two picks. Take a look at the player stats, man. Check out our quarterback, Duncan Bly. He's still balling out. I mean, you know, throwing it about as much as you'd expect a rookie quarterback to throw. 180 yards, completing 80% of his passes against his defense. So probably throwing a lot of short, easy passes. But two touchdowns, no incompletion. Keith Marshall has really played well-ish. He's been getting a lot of yards. His average isn't great. Two yards of carry is actually fucking terrible. But he still came away with 90 yards and two TDs. So that's just, he's just getting it in. Fitz eight today. Now we get to the defensive side of the ball. My boy, Dion McCray, the rookie. Uh, that's a big cornerback, bro. 61209. Came away with three tackles. GA, 10 total tackles today. And I believe me and him split this sack. I'm not sure. Because somebody else got half, got half a sack too. Deion Buchanan has been balling out. We've been sending him on a ton of blitzes. He came away with 10 total tackles. All right, TD. Seven total tackles, half a sack, two picks. Let's eat. And also, Delano Howell came away with another interception, bro. Take a look at the sacks real quick, man. Carlos Dunlap had a second and a half. Marcus Golden, I mean... You know, this was a stat game for us. Let's keep it G. I didn't get a, uh, I didn't get a return touchdown today, but who cares? I got the pick six. So I'm good. All right, man. I hope y'all enjoyed that episode. So despite everything that's going on in TD's life, he is still able to come away with a great game, man. Seven tackles, two interceptions, and one was returned for a touchdown. I'm very excited. I'm loving the TD series right now. We're really starting to make a lot of plays, um, you know, interception-wise. And that's what's up. Y'all know I'm a fiend for the picks. Anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed. Like goal for the day was 1,500 likes. If we hit the 1,500 likes, we will. Get another TD episode tomorrow. Other than that, hit me up in the comment section. Subscribe if you're brand new. Also, if you're brand new, make sure you check out uh, TD's Road to Glory series on NCAA. That pops up on a car at the end of all the videos. You can go and watch through his college career as well. Anyway, other than that, I'm going to holler at y'all next time. My name is Flumlo Raps.